anti-Chinese protests in Vietnam, prompting Beijing to evacuate thousands of its nationals. Andrew? Now, Patricia, it's uh, considered a promising emerging market and an attractive destination at the moment for investors. We're talking about the Philippines, which just last week hosted the World Economic Forum on East Asia, the first time the WEF has been to Manila. Well, a US think tank, meanwhile, forecasts that the country's economy could more than double over the next 10 years. Well, a little earlier last week, I sat down with a top business leader in Manila to discuss her country's economic future. Tessie Saikosan is building a new Manila from the ground up. From her helicopter, she points out her company's emerging mini-city within a city. A 74-hectare development centred around one of the world's biggest shopping malls being built by the family company SM Investments. With a corporate career in Manila stretching over more than 40 years, she's a little bemused by the current wave of international investment interest in the Philippines. For the foreign investor, they see things differently. They judge you by the investment grade. They judge you by what they have seen in the, in, uh, in the news. So right now, uh, there's a lot of them are very curious about the Philippines. But Philippines has, um, has always been a good area. Even in the past, it's just that you have to have patience. You have to understand the country and persevere. Do, do you worry, though, about the competition, that the fact that uh, there are fresh eyes now looking at the Philippines, that uh, the world may be coming to your doorstep? Are you ready for them? Yes. If you can beat them, join them. So you're talking about joint ventures? Oh, yes, we have a few. The anti-corruption campaign by the new administration, that was a platform, uh, a campaign platform for the president. How successful has he been, in your opinion, about tackling corruption. We have a president that is clean, and I think he is attempting to clean certain certain government uh, uh, department or agency. I think it's a starting point. Right, but you're confident that uh, he will succeed, that he will should be able to it's carry a, through with his promises. It's going to be a long-term work. The $14 billion SM Investments is one of the country's biggest mall and retail operators and also owns the country's biggest bank. So there's still a lot of cities that are untapped in the Philippines. But unique among the many family-owned companies here, SM is actually managed by the six siblings of SM founder and the Philippines' richest man, Henry Sai. That does sound like a recipe for a very, very difficult strategy setting. It seems that we do have different interests. I do not know how it happened, but it happened. So it's a matter of working together. And in the board, it's more of majority rules. So we were able to get to our, a lot of the discussions by, through that manner. The obvious follow-up question here is what happens when you get a 3-3 three, three split? Uh, we would argue until we get a majority. <laughs> so uh, father does not decide, does not have the, the controlling vote on that? Uh, he used to. But uh, right now, when he saw that uh, we were able to get along by ourselves, he, saw, he got bored. You, you cannot avoid that there will always be some differences. But uh, it's a matter of getting back to the table the next day. There you go, Tessie Sykosin there. Um, she's an interesting woman. Uh, as I say, one of uh, six siblings running a company. Wow. Uh, yes, uh, and they all, all of the family went into the business, and they all get on very, very well and very effectively. And what struck Big you the most from your week there? Uh, in the Philippines? Mm -hmm. oh, that's an interesting question. Well, just, just this, there is this incredible renewed sort of focus on, on the Philippines at the moment. And there is, yeah, there is, as, as we said in the reports, there is a sense of positivism. Well, good. But you, got, you know what I'm trying to say. I know what you're trying to say. They certainly could use that positivism. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I said it correctly yeah. either, but hey, yeah. if we Never both say it the same way, then it's okay. Well, we're going to take a quick break. I think Andrew and I need one. But coming up after the break, a significant announcement from the White House on the drawdown of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. We will have details on what President Barack Obama has planned.